What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 18th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comment section. I almost lost the words there. Let me know in the comment section who your favorite and least favorite contenders are for today's slate. And finally, shout out to Prize Picks for being the presenting sponsor of this video right there. You can see the banner on the screen, awesomeo.com slash prize picks dash promo. Get one month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum along with some other goodies if you follow that link. Now we round out the bottom of my top 10 with Hamadou Diallo, Anthony Edwards, Jared Vanderbilt, Andrew Wiggins, and D'Angelo Russell on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In first at number five, we've got Sadiq Bey. Small forward eligibility, 6,100. Projected for 31 and a half. The goal is 41. He's in the optimal lineup 49% of the time. I gave him 35 minutes. He's around a .9 fantasy point per minute guy. Pistons, big time underdogs, but Sadiq Bey just generally plays a ton of minutes. 17 points, seven boards, two assists, and a steal. Pace neutral against Golden State. Generally speaking, you're just trying to bet on minutes on a two-game slate, and there aren't too many better bets than Sadiq Bey. In at number four, we've got Steph Curry, the raw point ceiling, too much to overlook today. 10,600, projected for 45 and a half. The goal is 60, and he's in the optimal lineup 51% of the time. I gave him 34 minutes. He's a 1.3 fantasy point per minute guy in this spot. Pace up to against Detroit. 26 and a half real points, six boards, almost seven assists. Maybe you grab a steal, but his scoring in a matchup against the Pistons you can't overlook that on a two-gamer. It's just too easy for Steph to go absolutely crazy. Or you can pay up for Minnesota center Carl Anthony Towns, center eligible, 9,600. 45 and a half point fantasy projection, 55 and a half point goal, 53% chance to be in the optimal lineup. Maybe you go to Towns because the floor is a little bit higher from the rebounding. 28% usage, 35 minutes, 1.3 fantasy points per minute. You get 23 and a half points, 11 boards and four assists, maybe two stocks. The problem for Minnesota, they lose four possessions below their average by taking on the Knicks. The Knicks are the slowest team in basketball. This is as bad of a matchup as you can get for Minnesota. And yet we still get Carl Anthony Towns into the number three spot. Huge jump up in tier here to number two, Cade Cunningham, still at a preposterous 6K on FanDuel. Point guard, shooting guard eligibility as well. He's projected for 36. The goal's just 40, and he's in the optimal lineup 70% of the time. I don't want to say that he's a lock, but in cash games, if you don't have him, you're making a mistake. 34 minutes, a little over a fantasy point per minute, 17 points, six boards, six assists, two stocks. It's a matchup against Golden State, but no Draymond, so you're not as nervous. But when push comes to shove, Cade Cunningham is probably $500 to $1,000 too cheap. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, like, subscribe, notification bell. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are. And then go check out prize picks, awesomeo.com slash prize picks dash promo. Number one contender here by a hair over Cade Cunningham is Julius Randle. He's power forward center eligible, 8,400, projected for 41 and a half. The goal is 50.7, so almost 51. Optimal lineup though, 72% of the time, 36 minutes for Randle, close to 1.15 fantasy points per minute, a full double-double, almost 20 points, 11 boards, six assists. The Knicks get the opposite side of this matchup for Towns. Huge pace up spot against Minnesota. They gain 2.3 possessions over their average. The fact that you can play Randall at power forward and center, which by the way, why in the world does Julius Randall have center eligibility? This is the guy that basically does not play center ever. And yet he does have it for some strange reason here. Very firmly a power forward for the Knicks. It helps us out here. It's an extra spot to put him. Randall, the number one contender on FanDuel for today. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 18th. DraftKings and Yahoo versions of this video are around here somewhere. Check them out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win that money. Nothing for me tomorrow. We're back again Thursday morning for another edition of The Contenders.